Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. How close are we to getting a special ability now? Not too far off, but we're still not there. Okay. So red team again. How are we doing right now, red team? So red team currently has nine points after only two rounds. So we're on round three. You do not have all of these things yet to play as. We never did try out this one yet, actually. I think we only just recently unlocked it. Again, I don't particularly care about these designs. I don't really want to spend anything on these. It doesn't make a difference to me which one I use. So really you don't press A to select these designs. You just highlight one and then press B. Anyways, I don't remember seeing this loading screen. New things every day. Anyways. I don't think there's really much new I'm going to be doing here. It's kind of nice to have at least one common area in the game, I guess, that you can explore with all sorts of different vehicles. But having more would be kind of nice. Anyways. Also, this car does not, well, bike, I guess. It's not like things that are not really nice, smooth roads. And now, you, this thing doesn't go very fast. Does it still actually drift, or is it just needed to bounce? It doesn't actually drift. Cool. Not much. Anyways. Listen up, driver. You're doing great. Let's focus on the stage three trials, and maybe if you beat them, you'll get a shot at the big league. We have leagues. Okay, so freestyle. Well, let's just start with that, actually. Your stuff like that is Gearhead, I believe. Let's turn it up in volume a little bit. There we go. So we can actually hear people say things. So that means 3.1. Well, that's Metacog. Whoops. Lucky road. There's so many bikes here. Okay. Freestyle again. This is going to be weird to get used to. I still haven't quite gotten used to helicopters. Why not? I still haven't quite gotten used to this Light it up across the carrier idea. And over the helicopters to earn as many points as possible before time expires. I mean, I did surprisingly well with the car, actually, for points. I feel like if I had tried that a second time, I would have actually gotten three, three medals without much trouble. Okay, so here's a thing. I still never figured out how the controls work through the default control scheme, because we only have one trick button, as far as I can tell. Just gonna have to do this again. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can get this working. Ridiculous move there! How do we? I forget about it. Just focus on getting another chain going. So I need to remember how you can actually do. Okay, I can't do a wheelie. Time, that was weird. I couldn't get myself to do a wheelie in the slightest. I can't do that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well. Whether I'm really capable, whether I'm factually able to do such things, or doing things. This game is not like acknowledging your attempts to do wheelies, though. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, Red Driver. So, let's see if Metacog. Let's see how Metacog compares to XG3N. Uh, Red Driver. Hey, I got. To keep the chain going. I had a trick going right there. I should have done chain. Acknowledge what I feel like. Come on, Red, you had it. It is hard to get really good combos going on here. It's not what I was trying to do. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, uh, just so we're clear, Red Driver. That's too extreme. Whoa, uh, ink don't break. Ah. That's what too much overconfidence looks like, folks. I don't you know okay, how to Red? land that. Just see if you can land. I can find another driver like if I need that. to, Red. Get that in your head and get back. Maybe you just game. don't want to do flips, but you'd think that it would not be such a bad idea. I'm gonna flip it back in time. 
that was actually at this point I just want to spend some time figure out how to do flips. I feel like I should be able to. And you get a lot of momentum really fast. And the weird thing is, it's really easy to get a ton of momentum, but really hard to lose it. I don't think I'm gonna do a trick this time. Good job, red driver. Okay, that time. Um, interesting subtitles there. I think some. I think Medicog's losing some. Uh, uh, some memory damage. From these crashes. I just want to see. I want to get the hang of this rotation. It requires muscle memory that I don't have. Why can't I? It feels like you need to land in a very exact. Well, of course you can land in a fairly exact way, but. It feels like the timing is ridiculously tight for. Keep digging deep, Red. Get, don't break the. Yeah, um. So if we have one good start on this, but I might be able to do a flip like that consistently regardless, which is a little annoying. Of course, the idea might just be I should be able to... Ooh, yeah, you finished full no one ever said I was a pro with a bike. I've never ridden a bike. I don't know why I decided to ride a bike. It's good. really weird. Because sometimes... Because it just depends on how long I hold it. If I don't hold it long enough and I let go, I just stop rotating entirely. So I can't just let my momentum carry me. But if I hold it just slightly longer, I keep rotating. And I way over rotate. Good job, Red Driver. Keep that chain. Yeah, I don't know why I see the subtitles here. I like how the game actually tells you that there's that error though. I don't know why the game won't just silently not show subtitles. That was not 180, but okay. It wasn't supposed to be 180. Get that in your head and get back in the game. Yeah, though, and this whole thing is about making combos, but making combos is really hard. Why is it so hard just to rotate in this game? All I need to do is. Why did I had something? I didn't lose anything. At least I no, should not have. Okay, I didn't rotate that time for some reason. I was trying to hold left. Or rather, I was physically holding left, but I didn't move left for some reason. Okay, what makes you lose chains? It seems like ending any kind of flatland trick automatically lose, loses my chain. Which I don't think it should. Okay, and touching up boxes too. What happens when I'm destroying things? Why does the only team y'all get to destroy things? That was a little overly violent. I hate that I can't see my points under my first respawn. See, why is the. I'm not pressing any side directions, by the way, when I do that. This is what happens when I try to do a backflip. I'm only gonna press down the D-pad. Oh, now you do it. Okay. Whatever. Whoa! Why'd you stop rotating? I just can't get used to this. This is not a very I mean, the controls are not very tight. To put it one way. Okay, so doing a trick as you rotate makes you rotate to the side a little bit. I don't know why. I feel like doing a forward flip works a little bit better. Yeah, if you do a forward flip, everything's fine. It wasn't worth keeping a chain. Okay, I don't know why. Stop taking away my chain. I would really prefer this game just let me keep my chains as long as I didn't actually wipe out. Losing chain just for. Bumping the ground in the wrong way is a little annoying. Don't break I also wish you couldn't lose a chain while you're in the air. I'm in the air. I'm still doing a stunt of some sort. I'm in the air. Okay, why do you... 
didn't get any boost. <laughs> I didn't get the mid air boost that time. <laughs> Come on, game. Rock and roll, Red Driver. You are officially on fire. You see, this is the sort of thing I've been trying to do. Well, let's get the steel tricks. So this is the exact sort of thing I need to be doing. I just get lucky this time to have the game let me keep my uh keep that chain locked up next time. I'll just Red. take that. I feel like I'm flying out the hangar a little bit. Looks like this is a wrap. But the game just for having to let me keep my chain that time, I felt like I just didn't happen to physics my way onto the ground in a bad way. How long did that take? Almost the whole episode. Awesome. Well, good job, Metacog. I guess you got a passable score after all that effort. Good for Metacog. Metacog now has an average score of 1.6, I believe. 1.67. I actually don't know. I don't have the individual scores calculated for the characters. I have to do it off, off of my head. But I mean, Metacog's only had three runs so far. More than anybody else on the red team. Gearhead's only had one, X3's had two, and Race Commiss had one. And now that's another another one for Gearhead. So 3.2, here we go. Wall of Death. Sounds fun. Oh, this one. Driver, Race came out a hard time with this one. On a wall. But I'd say you're one of the few who can drive on a wall suspended 5,000 feet above the ground by helicopters. Let's find out. I doubt both of those statements, but okay. Oh man, this reminds you of World Race being up in the sky. Oh, I need to change the controls back. There we go. Alright, so I feel like Race Cam would be much better. Oh, we actually are in World Race this track. It's interesting. Goodbye. I wonder if any of the other teams are looking for a navigator. Look, man, this thing isn't as good as, at reacting as a bike is, actually. I don't know why you would expect your to be better just than race gun. And I do like the idea of this in some capacity because it is just reacting to things. In a way that I think is kind of cool. And a little fun. It's very different. Close, just doesn't Jeez, though, I have a hard time with it. Like, I can react to stuff. But I think it's react. I can react to things in simple ways quickly. Like if we're doing some kind of press a button quickly, that right appears on screen type of thing, I can do that. This is something a little bit more complex though in terms of motor function. I need to actually keep in mind how to steer the car in the correct direction, as well as think about which way is actually safe to go. Ah, okay, that's how I just didn't steer far enough. Bingo, got it. You're on your way to world's best driver. Should I even consider that? I'll give it one more good try. But I don't expect I'll do very well on this one. Again, I know what I expect you to do better than race him on this anyways. This is the exact sort of thing that race him would. Probably be pretty decent at, although they weren't. That's what's not a good wow. try. I saw I'm it and then just, like, didn't react to it. Just gear up and try again, okay? I think part of it, though, actually, it might sound like an excuse. I talked about this on this channel before. Commentating games while you're playing them noticeably reduces reaction time, and that might be making me listen to this, too. There is one game on this channel I played that's basically entirely based on reaction time, which is Manoa Beach Volleyball. And I'm alright at that game if I play it on my own. I'm playing it on... Ah, no okay, let's take it. Place, okay, can I at least get third again? One medal again? Instead to feel slightly better?
but that game I could not play it at all while commentating it. I had to play on the easiest difficulty because otherwise I just could not react quickly enough while I was talking. I was too distracted by trying to say things. I think that's actually a good part of the origin of what people call it. I didn't see a way to actually get out of that. That was really cruel to place enough of those blocks. Pillars. I think that's actually a big part of the reason for what some people call the Let's Player's Curse, where people seem to do worse when they're Let's Playing something than when they play it casually. The reason I feel being that their attention is divided by them trying to... My god! Commentate at the same time. Part of it in this though is that it's also that I'm reacting sometimes without actually turning far enough. Because this... It's a giant car! Seems massive. Nice compared to the bike. You can't really weave around the pillars. You're as big as the pillars, and the pillars are big. Like I saw that and was just, just didn't really do anything about it. You saw me that I tried to turn to the left a little bit and I just didn't. I don't know how I would have turned enough for that. It's a really, really painful when you put two blocks next to each other. I think probably is I'm actually making life a lot harder for myself by going fast than I need to, maybe. So how's your track? Cheese and go a little bit slower. Red, 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 come on! Wow, just wow. Um, I'm not sure what to say to this. Just just gear up and try again, okay? Yeah. Was that actually a unique thing he had to say to me I having a branch to fall in there or what? No points for second place, Red. No. There, that wasn't second place, although second place would, depending on what you consider second place, would actually give you a medal, but whatever. Yeah, so you could do this. This gives you better reaction times and whatnot, too. Or it gives you more time to react. So I'm guessing this is what you should do if you actually want to make life all easy for yourself. Yeah, I was making life a lot harder for myself by actually going full speed. This is so dishonest, and it is exactly the way Gearhead would do this. What? Okay, you need to actually start with full speed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had full speed that time. I was going full throttle. What are you doing, man? So I'm basically just alternating full and no throttle here. I saw that one coming. Ah, oh, if I was going fast, I would have actually be able to go up the wall there. If you're not going fast enough, you can't actually go up the wall. So there are reasons to be going full speed, I guess. I'm trying. Yeah, I can't. Close, just can I at least get 25 seconds drive. again so I can? Just at least leave us event having passed it. 25 seconds is not a long time either. I'm just getting really, really bad at this. Of course, right now I'm kind of handling, like, handicapping myself a little bit too. It's easy to react to the way I'm doing it right now, but. I can't go up the wall as easily. Wow, just, okay, wow. so gearheads attempt to cheat did not work very well. Just, just gear up and try again, okay? It's just the honest way. I am considering though that in general, even though if I'm not trying to go slow the whole time, it might be good not to. I see going, always try to go as fast as possible. Also, I feel like, it, yeah, in a weird way, you want to do a slalom type of thing, I think. Because it tends to have the box directly in front of you. That was my problem, I was going straight forwards. You need to fake it out. Don't just try to react. Way oh. to go, Red Driver! Looks like this is a wrap!
I feel like I don't deserve that 40. I just like Gearhead literally cheated. But the game's gonna record that 40. Well, Gearhead has an average of 2 then. Which still leaves the Robots behind, mind you. Yeah, we're absolutely way over episode time, aren't we? 20 minutes. Awesome. And we still have one event to do. I want to do one team per episode. Come <laughs> on, XG3. Oh, jeez. Can driver, we do this one? Make your way down this mountain as fast as you can, with as many air tricks as you can, to earn a chunk of points. Yeah, Metacog had a hard time with this one. And shirt controls. Okay. I still don't get why you can apparently only do tricks properly with one set of controls, but whatever. They told me you were good, but wow, I gotta hand it to you, Red. No one else could do a knack neck like that. Don't break the chain. Look man, I don't know this course. I don't know where I can and can't do jumps. I'm gonna do more than one run on this one too, just so I can because that is actually another route can take. So I actually should have committed that jump. Alright here. You can't really get a chain going here though, I feel like. You do get a pretty mean time bonus on this event, type I've noticed, so I guess that'll be a big part of what you do. Again, Red. So I've done a lot better in both time and score if I had not messed with that one jump. So I think we can get at least a minimum score here. I'd like to get more, of course. Ridiculous move there. But like, I don't know how, for instance, to keep a chain going here. No, I could get a chain going there. That jump, I can't tell whenever I see it if that jump is actually a jump or it's just... Like our chances hey. more and more. A bank to turn on. But now you actually can't give up Shango on here. Ah. Just keep one combo going through this whole thing and we should be good. They told me you were good, but I'm wow. having an easier time actually timing the tricks now too. Without falling on my face, which is nice. It's kind of weird that you get the same number of points for tricks or cross power kickers they are or aren't. But oh well. Excuse me? Okay, so you cannot. Good check on that, I guess. Uh, red driver. Keep that in mind. So you can't actually do uh, the snowmobile with a little bit of a wheelie too, which is Ridiculous not something there. I would have realized. I don't remember the game telling me I could do that. And I just forgot him though. Ah. So does this game have stale tricks or not? I'm curious. I haven't noticed. You do the same trick multiple times, if the game cares. Red driver, I like our chances more and more. I don't know if it's really better to not wipe out right there. I don't know what else I would do right there though, because it throws you right into that rock. I thought I don't actually get that many points from Justin either. I know you're impatient, but let's try and finish. We can get to a point there, or to do a trick there, but it didn't really work out. Driver. That was pretty Looks quick, like this though. Is a wrap. I guess I just have to be what it is. No sweet moves, just unlocked you a little more content, Red. Yeah, Red teams. I think they're falling victim to their own hubris. These guys aren't really doing much of anything impressive. Three point three, one. Aside from race cam, only had one event. So far, 
X2-3 actually has the lowest average score, which is no surprise. So where does that leave the red team? 14 points, 3 points behind green, 14 versus 17. Metacog does have the most points right now, but they've had the most events. So that super long episode out of the way, and the embarrassment associated with it. Ugh. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels World's Best Driver, where hopefully somebody actually knows what they're doing that's to do stuff. We'll see. Maybe we'll make a comeback at some point. No idea. Bye everyone.